find out tonight. <laughs> and the man of the hour sits right next to us right now, having worked very hard to make the restaurant at Watercliff Wine in Somerset West one of the most sought-after eateries in the country. Gregory Zonaki uh, was a no-brainer to join the celebrated TV chef Zola Nene as a judge on SABC 3's brand new reality foodie and lifestyle competition, The Taste Master. Yes, the final course is being served up tonight, and it all comes down to Charmaine Ramalope Makubela and Boitomelo Mohai, who will uh, who will take the title to become Afternoon Express's new resident foodie. Yeah. And of course, Gregory joins us this morning to share more about his experience. So please give him the warmest express a welcome. Come on. Like only we know how. Celebrate Gregory, the man. You to the show. Good to have you, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. You've, been, you've been a very, very busy man um, from, from just taking, as I said, uh, the restaurant at, at uh, Vatacliff Wines to what it is right now, one of yeah. the most celebrated across the country. And then you also jet around the country uh, helping young, up-and-coming, inspired foodies to live out their best dreams. What's the experience of being a judge on the Taste Master been like? Yeah, it was a great experience. You yeah. know, it was like the first time for me to get out also of the kitchen and yeah. just in my four walls where I'm in control of everything. And no, and it was great to meet like, you know, contestants that have like potential and you know that sometimes don't know exactly if they could get out there and, and, and showcase to, to you know to, to South Africa. Mm -hmm. So you know it, it was a great experience from both sides of the cameras, you know, from like the crew side, with like, you know, Zola Almany, which was like, you know, great, uh, great host. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, Zola also guiding me a bit through because it was my first experience for like yeah. uh, television. And then the contestants also, you know, you see them, you know, they all don't know each other and slowly through the different episodes, you know, they, and, and the different challenges, you know, there's a bond created and also get to like relax a bit more. So their personality and charisma showcase. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, no, overall, it was like a fantastic experience, you know, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it's like f finished in a way and tonight, you know, will be the big reveal. But at the same time, you know, I wish there would have been like more because, you know, I started yeah, to get yeah. comfortable with it. Yeah, now. yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You have probably worked with so many professionals throughout your career as well. What's it been like seeing these foodies as they grow through this competition to where they are right now? Well, it, you know, it, it is pretty much the same as like in a professional kitchen, you know, when you get someone and then you, you, you slowly, slowly give them advice and you yeah. see them like growing and, you know, and, and showcasing their personality on the plate. And, and it's exactly the same with the contestants, you know. Obviously, it's two different kind of like uh, universe, you know, pro professional kitchen. Uh, you know, you can be a great cook at home, mm -hmm. but the hospitality industry not, might not be for you. You know, it's, it's long hours, long service, stressful yeah. service. But yeah. when you see like how the contestants were very shy, you know, and, and slowly they get out of their comfort zone. Zone and they do listen, you know, every every week they had like amazing mentors yeah. um, guiding them, you know, we gave them advice. Um, and then you see that, you know, going confidence. into them and, and the confidence come out and, you know, if you, when you watch tonight, you'll see like, um, it's unbelievable, like how much food was like, you know, came out of those two contestants. Oh, yeah. So yeah. the whole time, it's, it's just uh, unbelievable. Yeah. And I'm sure they, they must have gained a vast amount of inspiration working with you uh, um, every single year when one goes to the Eat Out Awards and you're privileged enough to be invited. Uh, the name Gregory Zarnecki is just there on everyone's lips. It's, it's <laughs> bubbling under the surface. You've done so well consistently um, at these awards. This year awarded third best in the whole country. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you very much. What does it take to, to stay on top of your game like that consistently? I think I think the most important is to you know I think the main essence well, I mean for me yeah. myself is like you know I don't chase the awards you know okay. um, I think you have to stick true to what you're passionate about and, uh, and and what you love doing and that's going to showcase and you're going then in the right direction you follow the vision that you have for for your kitchen for your establishment and I think that's that's what's important so I just wake up with determination try to go to bed with satisfaction Obviously, in between there is the days, you know, and, and, and that's it, you know, I try to, my, my passion for food has, has become an obsession. Yeah. Um, so I'm always like food, 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 and that's it. I just try to have fun in the kitchen, yeah. educate the, you know, the team um, and, and show them what it's like to be a chef, you know. I think you miss an important part there is wake up with determination, drive to work in an AMG and sleep with satisfaction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is, the, that is the bonus, you know, in, 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 in between. But, uh, yeah, no, it was a, it's a great experience on, on each yeah. side. You know? yeah. But, yeah, that, I think that's the, that's the main goal. You know, for me, it's just to, to have fun and showcase what we can do and, and push boundaries also, yeah. you know. So yeah. we, we get used to a certain um, level in, in the kitchen, you know, of what we can pull out. And then when we, use, when we get used to this and I'm comfortable with, like, okay, you know, we, we're getting this right, then let's move on to the next stage and, and try to push the boundaries a bit more, you know. Excellent. Uh, 
Oh, well, that passion suddenly shines through and we can't wait to see it culminate tonight. So be sure not to miss the grand finale of the Taste Master tonight at 7.30 only on SABC3 to find out who will be your next resident afternoon express food. Are we allowed to put Greg on the spot and ask him? Okay. Who he it will be? Who you are thinking? <laughs> yeah. I know the you know already. I'm just going to make yeah. you wait. Oh, yes, let's oh, wait. I know it's, it's a difficult oh. one, huh? yeah. but I know. And I've been knowing for a couple of years. Well, then I'm keeping the secret. Well, it is between <laughs> Charmaine and Boitamelo tonight, so it's going to be a celebration for the grand finale. Uh, the Taste Master is going to give you a chance of winning a premium dishwasher valued at 13,500 rand. Absolutely. So to enter, retweet the competition post on the Taste Master SA Twitter page. The competition closes tonight at midnight, and T's and C's can be found on the tastemaster.coza. And enter now because even a Taste Master needs a little help when it comes to washing the dishes. And of course, don't forget that grand prize competition to win a trip for two to the beautiful Belgium. Ah, it's still up for grabs, so make sure to enter and find out all the details on tastemaster.co.za. Once again, the competition closes at midnight tonight, so get cracking on all those entries. Gregory, of course, is gonna show up. This Tuesday evening, it's the season finale of The Tastemaster. Welcome to Belgium and the finale of The Tastemaster. How am I going to be able to merge Belgium and South Africa into a Christmas feast? It is a bittersweet moment for me. The person I'm with here is Charmaine, very close friend. One of us has to win it. I'm feeling like I could really do this. I'm definitely taking this one. This is really going to be a battle for my life. Why is she hiding things from me? Aren't we friends anymore? Whew. Time is of the essence. This hard work better pay off. Things are just not coming together. <laughs> this is definitely not happening. I'm a little confused. I don't know what it tastes like now. It's go time. It's going to be tough. Who will take the title of the Taste Master? Tuesday evening at 7.30 on SABC3. The stage is yours. Own it. <laughs>